issue is um, not with the concept of objectivity as properly defined in terms of what the words actually mean. That no one, no one who I'm aligned with or know is arguing against journalism that's fair, is arguing against journalism that seeks to figure out what the truth is, that, uh, that uh, no one's arguing against a reporting process in which you talk to a bunch of different types of people um, and hear them out and, and bring questions to them, right? No, no one's arguing against any of those things, but rather it's about the, it, it's, it's two different things, right? It's, it's about the reality that in a lot of our newsrooms, these, that the term objectivity has grown to mean a lot of things that objectivity never meant in the first place or, or wasn't intended to mean. Um, that it, it, it starts to uh, be swapped out for neutrality, uh, which is not necessarily which was true. When I write about a murder, you shouldn't walk away feeling neutral about it. Um, the murder is a bad thing. Uh, Hot the, take, Wes. Yeah, right? Um, it, gets, it gets swapped out for balance, uh, where, the, you know, if I interview 10 people on the street, um, and three of them think the sky is green. I, I probably should not balance the piece out and have as many of them in the pieces as, as, as anyone else. Uh, that's not what it means. But, but beyond all of that, um, I think especially in this moment with social media, um, a, a time when the reality is journalists are, are showing more of themselves to the public than in the past. Um, for better or for worse, I mean, we're here. Genie's out of the bottle. Um, the, what we often see is that we're not actually talking about in these cases, journalism that is in some ways unobjective, rather we're talking about the theoretical perception of objectivity. Alexis didn't write a piece that was unfair. Right. There, there's no, uh, that, that, that it's, that all of this is this bank shot. Well, theoretically, if you as a human show that you are in possession of any opinion or personality, then theoretically on a future piece, no one will be able to trust you. And what I think, I think the problem there is, and I've heard Tom, um, uh, talk about the history a number of times, right? One of the keys to, a system of objectivity of, of having a set of rules, how we go about reporting is to accept as a premise that the individual journalist themselves does have biases. That's why you formalize a process uh, and to have a set of standards, right? And so, and so for me, it, it seems incongruent that the point of, of an objectivity of process is to accept as premise that the individual journalist is going to have biases, is going to have uh, you know, is, is going to have certain backgrounds or play. And the point is that through the process, you land at a journalism that is fair, that challenges those things, that, that looks for the, and, and so because of that, for me at least, it doesn't quite make sense to penalize people for expression of things that we've accept, that we've accepted as premise exists that we're not robots, we're, we're not, you know, and in fact, the, I don't, I'm not, you know, at a, at a personal level, I'm not interested in going to a cocktail party with people who don't have any feelings about anything. Those, those people aren't fun, they're not interesting. I don't wanna work with, uh, as, as a journalist in a newsroom with folks who don't have, um, who aren't passionate, who aren't engaged, uh, who aren't thinking about what's happening, who aren't witty, right, and, and I think that and so I think that there's a push and pull between those things. Um, and, uh, and look, what I also think is that, you know, over the years, as this term has evolved to suddenly mean that the individual themselves is not capable or holding any biases, which again is the opposite of what the point was. Um, it has started to set this internal culture within journalism in which many people believe they in fact do not have biases. And what I would argue is that that, um, that what, I, what I would argue is that in fact um, is detrimental to a pursuit 
of um, of checking ourselves. That you, you cannot uh, account for a bias if you won't even admit you have it. And, and, I, and I think that, that, in fact, one of the first steps towards doing fair journalism is going, well, actually, you know, I, I feel like I find that person, uh, you know, I find that person sympathetic. And I think that person's the victim because then what you're able to do is say, all right, well, let me make sure I'm being fair. I'm hearing the best version of these people's arguments that I'm asking hard questions of the person who I feel sympathetic towards. And I'm hearing the best version, the good faith version of the person who I think is the villain. If you're just, if you just insist that you're a journalism robot with no bias, you're an objective journalist, suddenly you, you have no cause to do those things. And I would argue that you end up, that we end up seeing a lot of journalism that ends up um, biased by the author, the reporter, the correspondent, because of their own personal assistance that they have no bias.